<laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Why nerf the bear? The data mine spell changes. Some of them we already know, but the other ones. There's some there's some weird, weird ones. So first of all, Frost Strike for Frost Decay has been buffed a little bit more, but we've known about the, the Frost Strike buff as well. So it's slightly better. It scales with 5% more attack power. It basically does what 20% more damage? No. No, it does. No, that's not 20%. 10% more damage. Close to 10% more damage. Okay, Guardian Druid. So if you've been playing Thorns of Iron, the meme build, the Iron Fur, where you just stack Iron Fur and just deal damage because Iron Fur, and uh, you thought that that's a fun way to play Guardian Druid, well, not anymore as much, because damage has been reduced above four applications. So you cannot stack it to keep doing damage with more and more applications, which... Well... <clears throat> The thing is, the talent maybe kind of needs a nerf, because in and of itself, this talent was about 20% damage. Just this talent. 10 to 20% more damage. 10 to 20% more damage for one point of talent is a lot of damage. No talent should be that strong. However, this meme build was definitely not the strongest build out there, was definitely not competitive in any way. It was just a meme build and the talent was just too strong. And they nerfed it, which sucks. Because Bear needs so many other buffs before this nerfs. It's like, before you even get to nerfing a meme build that's not even competitive in any way, you should at least fix some of the issues that the Bear community have been complaining for like months. It's the only tank that still cannot properly clear high keys. It can do okay, but it's so behind everybody else still. But they nerfed. They nerfed the only thing that was fun about the bear, man. He just went in mindlessly and spammed Iron Fur. We have Preservation nerfed, which are a long time coming. So, Resonating Sphere now only applies Echo at 30% effectiveness, and it was a 45% before. Well, it was Echo that did 45%, not the full range of Echo, and now it only affects four allies that, that it passes through. Okay, so Temporal Anomaly was particularly strong. Temporal Anomaly was also not... I don't know how strong it was. They've nerfed it first of all by increasing its cooldown massively, but it travels way quicker. So by increasing the cooldown massively to Temporal Anomaly from like 5 seconds to 16, made it so that you cannot combo Temporal Anomaly with Echo into Emerald Communion Heal. So it nerfed the big, big, big way that preservation can do its AoE healing. You can still do that, but it's so difficult right now to do like a full rate heal with Emerald Communion, which was one of the cooldowns that preservation has. Now that's even less possible. And Temporal Anomalies and Vortex Spell Power, it also provides as low. Okay, the, the lower absorb I'm fine with. Lower, the absorb was just way too strong for a spell that had a 60 second cooldown, although it does drain mana. The Resonating Sphere nerf, I don't know how I feel about that, because that's a that's a very specific mechanical ability. It severely limits the toolkit of Preservation. Maybe that needs to happen. Preservation is doing a lot of healing anyway, so Preservation needs some nerfs. But I don't know if it's mechanical nerfs. This is something that we need to test out. It's getting some buffs with Ouroboros, which is getting kind of like a rework. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to see once, it, uh, once it's live. Let's see what other changes. Suppressing let out a bone shaking roar at enemies in a cone in front of you, increasing the duration of crowd control effects. Okay, so what has been nerfed? I guess time spiral has been addressed. I don't know if this had unlimited range, but now it's 40 yards, which makes sense. All right, so the big nerf is, I think, here. This is okay. 10 to 20% nerf, maybe? No, a little bit more. Probably about 20% nerf. I think. It's mostly a nerf to raid the absorb from temporal anomaly and eternal healing for it being a one button. Yes, yes, no, I, ag I agree. The absorb was way too much. It chunks a lot of mana though, so it's not something that you can naturally freely spam. However, it is a way to, to get easy, easy heals. My problem is with Resonating Sphere because this has been nerfed. Resonating Sphere has been nerfed by temporal anomaly being nerfed in its cooldown also. So this is not something that I, I don't know how to feel about this. This definitely hits big I, and I'm perfectly fine. Like I want my preservation talents to be a little bit more balanced because like I'm, I'm just playing a cookie cutter build and the alternative to resonating sphere is interesting. However, 
I'm fine if they keep this nerf, but put Temporal Anomaly back to like a 5 second cooldown. Maybe even nerf the Absorb even more. But, or maybe make it so that if you pick Resonating Sphere, the Absorb is even smaller, but you pre you get the Echo. So Temporal Anomaly with Resonating Sphere, or with, what is it, Nosdormus Teachings now, is supposed to accomplish two things. It's supposed to give you some Absorb, which is throughput, or it's supposed to give you a mechanical advantage to work with your combos. Preservation is a very mechanical intensive healer where you need a lot of combos to work with to get your healing up. It's not, this might come with a little bit of a bias, but it's not as simple as, you know, pressing Holy Word Sanctify on a Holy Priest or Light of Dawn on, uh, on Paladin. You cannot just press your AoE heals to heal everybody because all of them have a cooldown. Anything from 10 to 20 second cooldown, maybe even longer depending on your talent. So every, every AoE ability that you use to heal needs to be really well thought out and really well comboed. Now they keep nerfing the combo, which hurts preservation from a mechanical standpoint. I'm fine, they should probably just nerf the throughput, nerf the overall numbers, but not, not the mechanical aspect of it. Because lowering the amount of targets that Echo is being placed on hurts the Emerald Communion combo, hurts the spreading of reversion combo as well. You have fewer reversions out. This makes the tier set even weaker. The tier set was particularly weak to begin with in terms of overall healing as opposed to what other healers got. Because that's a problem with reversion as well. Reversion is not that amazing in terms of raw numbers. That's why you played Emerald Blossom before you got the tier set. But now it, Emerald Blossom is being buffed a little bit more. And spreading reversion is nerfed even more. So I don't, I don't know. I'm on the fence with this. I do believe preservation is nerfs, but I don't know if this is the right way to do it. Maybe, maybe better, smarter preservation uh, evokers know a little bit better. But uh, I guess we'll see. It's too, ma too many nerfs to Temporal Anomaly, I feel. At least buff some other aspects of the, of the talents, though. Okay, Hunter, Beast Mastery. These are the buffs that we know from Hunter, right? The buffs that come after the nerf of the bow. Barb shot a uh, buff, Cobra shot buff. Oh yeah, Cobra shot is getting the yeah. No, so we know the hunter buffs. We know the the BM, the MM buffs. Arcane shot is being buffed. This is this does not affect survival whatsoever. This does affect both MM and BM. Wrong. Because well, MM uses Arcane shot, BM uses Cobra shot, which replaces Arcane shot, right? Death chakra being buffed. This is really good, although. The value of Death Chakra never came from its overall upfront damage, it mostly came from the damage amp. They're nerfing Kill Shot, I guess, in PvP. Kill Commands, only for Beast Mastery, it's being buffed. Not, not Tash for Survival. Clearly, I'm a little bit biased for Survival. Trailblazer... This whatever. PvP, Mistweaver, we know about the Shaylan Gift changes. Okay, Light of Dawn is being buffed. We already know that. So most of it is something that we already knew. We've been in the Paladin uh, discussion for, for a long time. There's a lot of changes to red. Probably should just have like a final version. Like all of these numbers for red don't even make any sense. Since we don't, we've, we don't even have these spells in the game to like figure out if exactly if the numbers are low or high. But red is getting a lot of changes. Some UI changes. We've known about UI changes. It resets the cooldown when you reset the boss. Okay, that makes makes a lot of sense. Hemotoxin. PvP talent getting nerfed. And these are the elemental changes that we are aware of, right? I wish they did like a proper article because this is just a lot of tooltip changes. So Earthshock is getting a slight buff. Ice Fury is getting a big buff, but Ice Fury did very little damage. I think the bigger buff for Ice Fury is this. We already covered this in the Elemental Shaman buffs video. Swirling Currents buffed a little bit. Warlock. Affliction. Does this change? Damaging an enemy with agony increase the damage dealt by your next drain life. They're just changing the wording. Although Kindle Malice is getting a slight nerfed for the second rank, okay. Umbral Blaze is getting buffed, maybe for demonology. But that's about it. So most most of the most of the stuff changed for preservation and and bear. So preservation and bear are getting nerfed. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> Why nerf the bear? <sighs> ah, I hope this is followed by some buffs. Man, man. <laughs> bear is suffering from some design issues where it's just not, it's, it's a lot of tuning problems. So I think Bear and Red Paladin, the previous Red Paladin build that is get, gonna get changed, 
are kind of like polar opposites in terms of the issues that they have. Red Paladin has a lot of tuning, uh, has a lot of numbers and deals a lot of damage, but the overall design of the spec is poor. Guardian, I believe, has a good design outside of the class tree. Listen, class tree has its issues. Uh, I've said it in the beta for a long time that Druid probably has one of the worst uh, class trees together with Paladin. Paladin is getting changed. Bear or Druid as a whole, I hope, is going to get changed next. Um, but Bear has a tuning issue. Like, its spec tree is fine, kind of, from a design standpoint. You have tools, different types of tools for different types of situations, different, different type of play styles. I love that. But the numbers are just not there. So hopefully this is going to get addressed later on. Because right now it's poop. Poop! I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. Getting better every day, let me show you how. Cause still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wild.